Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to APN News. I am Yasmin Sultana. Headlines of the news. APN correspondent interviews with DG of ARU in Mokka. No nation talks over Rohingya issue. India, August 15, 2017. Now into the details. Mokha Mohammed Sajid Zalal from Arakan Press Network APN interviewed with the Director General of Arakan Rohingya Union ARU proved Dr. Wakaruddin on the plight of the most persecuted Rohingya Muslims minority in Arakan, as well as their part on August 40, 2017. The interview was taken place at the head office of Global Rohingya Center GRC in Tokyo of Mokka. She ruled time on different kind of aspects of Dr. Wakaruddin on the situation of Rohingya people. Sajid as a Secretary General of ARU, you are meeting and talking to various figures of international communities and rights groups around the world and raising the Rohingya's long pending issue in various meetings. Tell me please, what could you understand and feel about their attention toward the solution to the long-standing problems of Rohingya minority in Arakan? Dr. Wakaruddin, the international community is well aware and concerned about the situation of ethnic Rohingya minority in Arakan. Myama Verma, that the Rohingya have long been subjected to various persecutions and deprived of their human rights including citizenship in their ancestral land. The Rohingya have no access to higher education and not allowed to marry, to exercise their religion and to movement. Due to deprivation of their citizenship rights, they are the Rohingya children and motivate them toward education. Education is the most important for all, especially for Rohingya. You can particularly inspire the children to receive education in Arakan, except Arakan. The Rohingya in other parts of Burma have somehow access to higher education like Mandalay, Yangon, and so on. But in Arakan, state education is restricted for Rohingya Muslims where the youth should play the vital role to motivate and teach the children. The children outside Arakan are also wasting their golden time without a study there. The youth can help them in receiving education. Finally, Dr. Wakaruddin conveyed a message for all Rohingya. That is, our Rohingya frequently leave the country and so it will be a Rohingya free land someday. And the policy of Burmese government is also the make a straight Rohingya free land. Therefore, I would like to request the Rohingya brothers and sisters in Arakan to tolerate the persecution and not to leave the country at all. India has ruled out the possibility of any three nation talks among Bangladesh. India and Myanmar over the deportation of Rohingyas, though a section of media reported claiming that India has planned to deport 40,000 Rohingyas, we are not aware of any such discussion. We don't know where you did get it. Diplomatic source in New Delhi told UNB on Sunday. Other diplomatic Sources say to India did not want to get involved in the Rohingya issue when Bangladesh made a request in the past. During his recent Dhaka visit, the Secretary General of the Organization of Islamic Cooperation, YC Dr. Yusuf bin Ahmad al Ataymin, reminded Myanmar that Rohingya people must be given full citizenship and basic rights. Rohingya people denied their basic rights. They need to be recognized in giving their identity. They must return to their country. They must have their full citizenship, he said. The YC ship called upon the Myanmar government to come up with a roadmap on how to go forward to settle the issue peacefully. We are very willing to come and sit down with you. Give us a roadmap on how to go forward. All the neighboring governments, including Bangladesh, were willing to negotiate 
to sit down how we can move forward on this issue you can't deny human rights this is very important for yc he said before leaving dhaka so you and dhaka thank you for listening ap news allah hafiz